all know who that guy is. Especially in campus environments. That guy is that guy that knows everything about the cable. But the only problem is with that guy, everything he knows about the cable is up here. You know, he's very little documentation. Okay, so here's, here's a little replica of the, the basic 200 pair. We know how this looks. In DMARCs, you've got a lot of I guess a lot of cross connects on here because, you know, we know what happens with cross connects, no one pulls them off. They just leave them on because if you pull off a cross connect and that puts down a circuit, you got a floor, you got a building, you got people out of business. When I look at this thing here, you know, I went through this stuff just like you. I've been doing this 30 years. I, you know, documentation's always been a problem. Uh, you know, I realize it more and more because, you know, we do thousands of jobs a year, hundreds a day, and it's always creeping up. I mean, but where I have, I guess you could say, what, the epiphany okay. is this. That was it for me. I couldn't take it anymore. You do years of a survey and you get garbage like that. Okay, there's a point in time where you just say enough is enough. Okay, and that, that's, that's what I said. I mean, that's why our mentality of it is what it is has got to change. You know, it changed for me and we developed the processes and so forth for an eyeglass solution. I mean, you've got to have those standardized processes from the guy out in the field in the man home to the people in the back office taking all this data in and extrapolating it and putting it in a presentable fashion to the end user. What is the goal of an eyeglass solution? It's to generate accurate and actionable data that then becomes the infrastructure baseline that is updated as Macs are performed instead of having to do surveys in an eyeball solution, you do a survey one time. That, that information becomes your baseline, and whoever you have managing your data is then responsible for applying the changes as they're made to the site. And we're going to talk about how to achieve an eyeball solution. That means the management of your documentation, where it's got to be simplistic to the end user. All they do is make a phone call or, or send over a, uh, an order, and they get the answer. None of this trying to figure out software and do all this other stuff. One call, one email, one portal. That's it. That's your answer. Okay, now to achieve that, you have to have a few things. And, and, and you can see here, we've got, you've got to have an assessment, you've got to have a survey, and then you can create the, the foundation to carry on management from there on. Now, Bethany's going to talk about the uh, levels right here in regards to getting an iBox solution, something that can be managed easily, okay, by an end user, and go ahead, Beth. Infrastructure verification as a service is really the um, investigation of spaces and pathways and proper documentation of the contents or inventories of those spaces. So you have three levels, really, that you're looking at, and the granularity that you achieve in the documentation is really going to be up to the end user and where they see the value in the program. Um, bare bones minimum is your OSP backbone and critical circuits. To do an eyeball solution, you absolutely must have those documented. Level two is horizontal cabling and work area outlets. Thank you. The end user can determine if that's valuable to them. And then level three is patching and cross connects. These things change so frequently that a lot of times it's not really valuable to the end user to pursue chasing those down and keeping them documented. But again, there are minimums, OSP, backbone, critical circuits. When we talk about assessment, it's got two functions. One is we want to go out there and do 360 photo shots of all the manholes, the handholes, the closets, and if you want some of the spaces, spaces as well. Imagine if you were a contractor bidding on something, a survey, and now you can see every manhole. You can see all the closets. You're going to get a better, accurate bid. The requirements are going to be better. And imagine if you're an end user and you don't want to go to the expense of the survey. Because not all end users are going to go to the expense of the survey. Our information tells us that an end user only goes to the survey twice. Okay, one is if there's a major construction on the, in, in the campus or, or facility. Okay, now if there's major construction, that's going to cause an impact on the infrastructure. So they got to go out there and get that survey, otherwise they're going to have buildings going there. Or, two, is a disaster. There's some disaster, and now you've got to get it done. The 
Those are the two reasons. No one's going out there to give a survey because, oh, we want to know this and that, and then a year later the survey is useless because no one's managed it and maintained it. And even though Bethany shows you a few boxes here, it's got to be simplistic. That's why this iBoss Solutions hasn't worked for end users before because it's got to be simple. Okay, there's nothing more simple than than a end user logging into a portal and just giving a request, and it's up to the iBoss Center to come back and fulfill that request. That's how simple it's got to be. If it gets any more convoluted than that, it's not going to work. So it's got to be very simplistic and easy for that end user to achieve this. But uh, Cabling Installation and Maintenance Magazine in February, which comes out, I think, tomorrow, uh, it's got, uh, we just happened to be one of the feature articles, well, the feature article on the cover. Uh, and it goes into more in depth of what we're talking about so you can, at your own leisure, read through it. So we look forward to you guys uh, enjoying the rest of the show. And if you have any questions, feel free to come up to myself or Bethany or even Frederick. And uh, we'll talk to you. Thank you.